Hey guys, this is Amaziz and it is Tech Time. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Hello World program in uh, Visual uh, Studio 2010 in C++. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start by going to Start and choosing Microsoft Visual Studio 2010. But, but if you don't find it right here, you can type Visual right in the search and it will show up right on the top. So let's go ahead and click that. And it might take a few seconds for it to launch or maybe a minute or two. It's a heavy program, so just wait on for it. So the first thing we're going to do, I want to show you and get you familiar with the software so you don't get confused with it so much. The uh, first thing you're going to notice is on the left right here, you have all your recent projects. And on here, on the top, you can do connect to a TM Foundation server. I have not played with that. But uh, there's new project and open project. Those two are what we're going to uh, deal with. If you don't see it right here, that's fine. You can go ahead and press file, new, project. That is the same thing as pressing new project. But I like to choose this one. So go ahead and click that. And um, before we do that, just a note this solution explorer is sometimes right here on the left if you want to take it on to the right just drag it all the way to the right without le letting go of the mouse and then stand over here and then let it go it will drop on the right so let's go ahead and press new project after that select empty project and make sure that you highlighted the Visual C++. If you're not in it, um, there is other languages right in here. You can double click that and you have Visual C Sharp, F Sharp and Visual Basic as we've discussed before. But uh, if you're highlighting Visual C++, you're fine. So go ahead and click that and then choose Empty Project. Um, some people like to choose CLR Empty Project. I'm not sure what the difference between them is but I like to choose uh, empty project alone so go ahead and click that and then you cannot press OK or double click it it will give you an error and re it requires a name so we're gonna go ahead and backspace this and type a name for it so for this one I'm gonna name it hello world and you can see that it already made the solution name hello world is the same name as the name of the project and in here, the location, you can press browse and put it wherever you want. And the default, as you can see in here, it w puts it in your uh, computer name, my documents, Visual 2010, and projects. I will show you how to get there. Uh, if you want to go get there after you've created your, pro your project and you don't know where it is, go ahead and press on the start, go to your computer name, Z in my case, and then go to my documents double click that then you will see uh, visual studio 2010 then double click that and after that you will see projects double click it and you will have new project right here and this is the file that you will double click sln now i haven't created it yet so i'm going to choose a different place so browse and i would like to choose desktop Tutorial. Let's choose programming C++, and um, let's choose a different place for it. Let's call it Hello World. Select folder. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and continue with that. Press OK, and it will create the project for you. After it created the project for you. You will see on the right in the Solution Explorer, and if you cannot see the Solution Explorer because it is necessary to use it, you will be able to get it from View and then Solution Explorer right here. You will have it on; it will display for you right, either on the right or the left. And as I explained before, you have to highlight right in here for it to drop on the right. So in here, it, you will see the project name. And for us to use Visual Studio, uh, for to use a code in C++, we're going to go ahead and click on Source Files, and then right-click on it, and go to Add New Item. 
make sure it's in the source files because the file that we're going to use is a source file so after we've done that go ahead and click on C++ file.cpp that's the file that we're going to use and name it something in this case I'm going to name it main and I'll explain later why so go ahead and name it main and then add after you've add that you get this white page right here now the first thing we're gonna do in here is the skeleton the skeleton is what every time you use main you will have to use it so the skeleton goes like this you include the libraries in this case IO stream IO stream stands for input output streaming which is C out and C in so that's why we need it and then under it we're gonna use um, using name space std what this does is whenever you write a line you have to do std colon colon and then you type whatever you want for but this allows us to use the lines without having to add std colon colon it will add it by itself every time so it makes it easier for us then we're going to add main and I'm going to use void main and then open parenthesis close it and then enter then open uh, squirrely bracket then close it again the reason I am using void because you can also do int and inside you will have to do return 0 or 1 or whatever number because int is an integer and integers are numbers so you have to return a number for it to be okay but I don't like to use that because as a programmer why use more if you don't have to so go ahead and name it uh, void and you don't have to use this line at all so uh, you can see that the name of this function is main and that is why I called this source file main because this is main and we're gonna input everything inside main because nothing can compile and run to the uh, console if it is not in main so we're gonna go ahead and write the code inside it um, inside it we're going to start by displaying something to the console so to display something to a console you do console out which is C out and stands for console out obviously and uh, then you can put two less than and then after it you put double quotes and then type hello space world and explanation mark and then double quotes and then when you're done with that you put a semicolon don't forget the semicolon it is very important um, what is this for we don't need this we can close this one and keep the output here the reason we use double quotes right here because whatever inside the double quotes will be displayed the double quotes will not be displayed this double quote and this double quote will not display be displayed when we uh, compile the program and this semicolon to tell it okay that's it the end of the line just like for human languages we have to use a period to mean that we have finished the statement and um, we're gonna go ahead and compile this program first thing first that you have to save it you don't have to save it every time you compile it but saving your work is really good the saving is right in here this the, this one you can go ahead and click it and this line will turn green and um, just a note for you to use line numbers and numbering these lines you have you have to go a little bit in the tools so I'm gonna show you how you go ahead and press on tools and then go down to options way in the bottom click that then you get the options layout dialog box in here double click on text editor double click that and then after that you have C C++ click on that and then in the display you have line numbers you can also do enable virtual space or word wrap I don't you need to use that so go ahead and press OK and you'll be able to see line numbers on each line so to compile this program you can press on this 
but this is debugging this is not just compiling this is just to test is is the code right I don't like to use it unless I'm debugging so what we'll need to do is press on um, debug and then start without debugging or control F5 either or I'm going to use both just to show you an example so go ahead and press on start without debugging and this dialog box shows up for this one it would ask us would you like to build it click on do not show this dialog again so you don't have to deal with it again then press yes then it will compile just fine but it will disappear the reason for that is we didn't tell it to stop it just compiled whatever it was told so to stop it from going that fast either uh, we will have to go down and then do system and then parenthesis double quotes and type pause in small letter or capital letters then double quotes again close the parenthesis and then as usual semicolon and this will stop it so you don't have to save it and uh, because when you do compile it will save it for you and build it so go ahead and press on debug start without debugging this time it paused it for us what happened is is it saw that we did command uh, console out and it looked after it then saw the double quote so whatever inside the double quotes will be displayed which is hello world and explanation mark and then we told it system pause the system pause will display press any key to continue but we didn't put any spaces or end lines behind it so just put it all in one line so go ahead and press any key you would like and then after we've done that we want to put an end line behind it to separate hello world and system pause so let's click behind the double quotes and uh, before the semicolon and press space then uh, double less than and then space and after that uh, type e and e and d l which is stands for end line and then let's uh, let me show you what this does first so go ahead and press debug and start without debugging after you've done that you can see that uh, it added an end line right in here so press any key to continue will be right under it to make sure that there are two spaces between them we're gonna go ahead and close it and add just another end line to add anything you have to make sure that you have these double less thans and the less than is a sign for the C out the C in would have higher than but we're gonna go into that later on so go ahead and put space double less than and a space and end line and please make sure that you put spaces in between them just for correct formatting so it looks good for the programmer after you even if you're not becoming a programmer for someone else to debug your code and look through it it would be easier to read so let's go ahead and compile that go and debug start without debugging press on that and you will have hello world end line end line and then press any key to continue so go ahead and press that so now you know how to do a hello world with two end lines to the command to the console what if you want to add another text after it that's really easy go ahead and do what you usually do to add anything in you have to put the double lessness so go ahead and do that and then space so to add any text you have to do the double quotes as we mentioned before so go ahead and press double quotes and then type whatever you would like so let's say how are you and then question mark then you have to end the double quotes otherwise you will have this red squirrely mark and if you highlight over it it will tell you missing closing quote so go ahead and put it right in here and the red squirrely mark would go away so let's go ahead and compile it and I'm gonna use control F5 and it compiled just fine without any errors but as you can see we have the same problem as we had before we didn't put an end line right in here so 
the press any key to continue stuck with how are you in one line so let's close that and in here we want to add double end lines but what if you have to add 10 end lines do you have to write this all over again well there's an easier way and here between the double quotes and the question mark just right before the double quote and put it inside between the two double quotes always make sure of that you can press slash n slash n each slash n is one end line the slash is not the usual slash that that's with the question mark it's the one above the enter key and uh, this this end line is one this end line is one then we have two end lines and it will separate these two and it will act the same way this two end lines act but it's just much easier to use and you can even you can even uh, do add and then end line end line by itself without having to add anything inside the two double quotes other than two end lines but we're not going to do this one we're just going to keep it inside the how are you to keep the code very simple and easy and uh, easy to read so go ahead and compile it and go ahead go ahead and press control f5 so do that then it will compile just fine and you will be able to see hello world right in here and then end line then another end line right here and then we say how are you right in here and then you have an end line and another end line and then you have press any key to continue so go ahead and press any key to continue and that will go away so this is uh, your first introduction to C++ I will be bringing more uh, videos about how to use integers doubles and all those uh, cool things I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it, go ahead and like it and uh, if you have any questions please ask on my youtube channel or we have uh, our big website indiedevelopment.co.com and you can go in the forums and ask any questions you want I'll be answering you right away and I hope you enjoyed it